Welcome to the uh, ancillary facility in my house, where we keep all the uh, various and sundry uh, things that don't go into other rooms. Um, as I did with my uh, Ultra Sabres Dominix LEV3 Sabre, which I have here as well. Uh, it's just a very informal review of this Sabre that I just acquired today. This is a... Uh, Dominix LEV4, and you can see that it's heavily weathered, it has windows, and like I said, it's the LE, i.e. the limited edition model. It has, um, the person I purchased this from actually put in an LED a retention screw, which is really cool. It has a anti-vandal switch, and it came with a cover tech wheel, and being a stunt saver, it has no sound. And it has an Arctic Blue LED. And the weathering that was done on this saber is wonderful. It kind of makes it a little bit smoother in the hand. And gives it a, almost like a gray sort of uh, pallor. This is the uh, blade retention screw. It has a 32 inch ultra edge um, mid grade blade installed and this hilt is known for its um, choke points two of them here which make it very comfortable very very comfortable indeed in the hand and I also have my <coughs> Dominic's v3 here just so you can get kind of a before and after kind of vibe of how the finish has changed with the uh, sanding that the uh, person I purchased this from did. You can see how shiny and uh, pristine the V3 is. And just with a bit of uh, sanding and some elbow grease and, uh, and whatnot, you know, what it can do for a hilt. This is one of those things that eventually I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, attempt, but I don't have the requisite supplies to do it. And uh, as with the, um, as with the, the V3, which I actually uh, ordered as a grab bag specifically so I could get uh, uh, Sunrider's Destiny in installed, I wanted to get a saber with, um, well, another stunt saber with Arctic Blue. And uh, I was about to order a grab bag, but then I saw this one. One of my uh, favorite sellers who kind of specializes in taking Ultra Sabers, stunt sabers, and I think maybe the occasional sound saber. And just, you know, doing some mild weathering and some mild customization. And, you know, just sort of, uh, yeah, he has fun. Probably, uh, a matter of purchasing a lot of grab bag sabers and mystery boxes and just sort of heavily modifying them and selling them at a slight, you know, slight, slight uh, profit margin. Who can blame him? Yeah, probably just utilizing uh, his uh, desire to be creative to make a little bit of extra money. So, anyway, let's... um. Let's get some lights out here, and I will show you what this looks like illuminated. Okay, there we go. Arctic blue. Now, I was comparing this to. Um, of Arctic Blue on a Apprentice V5, and uh, that's a sound saver running a Obsidian Light, and I found the LEDs on that were a little bit different. When you look at this, just illuminated here, although the camera ruins it, <laughs> um, it looks pretty consistently blue, but held up against the uh, the LE. Uh, B5 that I have, the, the Apprentice Saber, 
you can see hints of green in this in comparison. So there is, um, I think, some mixing going on. Some blue and green to get the uh, the end result here to get this uh, Arctic blue. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just one of those hilts that's a little bit on the large size. And for some reason, it's a little bit heavy, even though it only has a 32-inch blade. But uh, it's really good for spinning. And uh, it's it's essentially made to be a dueler. I mean, you can you can pretty much purchase one of these and duel with complete abandon without having to worry about really damaging it. There's not much to damage. There's just a switch and a battery pack and LED. If you can take one of these things out, it was pretty much meant to be taken out. And just to compare it with uh, Sunrider's Destiny, since I have it here, uh, Sunrider's Destiny is a, a much greener, kind of a sea green, mint green kind of color. You can kind of make it out here amongst all the junk in my room, <laughs> or this room. It's not my room. It's just a room. <laughs> And uh, earlier, uh, earlier tonight, uh, I was trying to do a wield. I have I have no skills for it, but <laughs> uh, this is a, a fine pair of sabers. Let's turn the light back on. Blech. So uh, yeah, whoa. <laughs> Essentially, if you're, you know, just looking to get a pair of inexpensive uh, hilts, uh, <laughs> you could do worse. A lot of people don't really care for Ultra Sabers. And, uh, yeah, they have their issues. But then again, everything does. Now, the previous video that I did today, I was talking about finances. I shouldn't do that because <laughs> um, I ended up going on to uh, eBay and uh, I made the, the horrible mistake of typing in Vader's Vault only to find that someone had put a pair of uh, Vader's Vault sabers, someone from Australia. Australia. I seem to be dealing with Australia a lot lately. I'm ordering blades and sabers from them. And... Uh, well, this person had a uh, Dark Ardent as a uh, Crystal Shard 4.5 soundboard. And it's just a red LED, the Sun Crusher Red. And uh, really, that's kind of right up my alley right now. And the price that they were offering, I was just like, I knew that I would have regrets both purchasing it and uh, not purchasing it. <laughs> So I weighed those options and I decided to I decided to order that because it was pristine. The seller had uh, very good feedback and it's kind of interesting because uh, obviously I bought that one. I snatched that one right up. It's it's a absolutely gorgeous saber. You guys are gonna love it when I do the unboxing for that. And I, I think he also had um uh, maybe it was a a Luke. I think it was a Luke. Uh, you know, like a Return of the Jedi Saber. That sold almost instantly, too. It was a bit more expensive than the one I bought. Now that person has a core band listed, and it's just, it seems like they're uh, kind of liquidating some uh, stock anyway so uh yeah so now i have my second vader's vault on the way and i'm flat broke so <laughs> not gonna be buying much uh for a while uh fortunately my uh the the saber that i'm having blue force sabers uh make i mean obviously i have the money but um i probably won't be responsible for uh, 
following up on that for maybe about a month. Anyway, you don't need to hear about any of this. I don't know why. I just kind of ram ramble on something to talk about. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We've got the uh, the Dominix V4 and the Dominix V3, and uh, this has Arctic Blue. This one has Sunrider's Destiny and uh, Windows AV switch. Uh, Cover tech wheel, just running a four AAA battery pack and uh, heavily weathered. Yeah, so you've got um, you got the pair V1, V4, or V3, V4. Yeah, very nice. They're very nice pair of sabers. They're very, very uh, good for dealing, dueling. Um, good balance. Yeah, what more can you ask? Anyway, so here you go. That's a little video for you guys for tonight. And um, I'll um, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I've got a I've got a saber arriving tomorrow. Another stunt saber, but this one's something uh, a little bit on the different side. Maybe something you haven't seen before. Maybe something you'll want to get. Another uh, another Etsy purchase, and uh, it looks to be pretty pretty darn cool. At least I think so. Anyway, you have a good night, and I will see you guys later. Take care now. Bye.